Hello everyone. So in this video, I would be showing you few advanced use of conditional formatting. So let's quickly move to the data and understand how we can work with conditional formatting in a advanced way. So over here, uh, what I need to do is I need to highlight the salesman name whose state is Delhi or Orissa. So the one way. So I repeat my question. What is it? I need to highlight the name of that salesman whose state who is replacing the state of Delhi and Orissa. So these are the two states. For example, if this is Delhi, this should be highlighted. If this is Orissa, this should be highlighted. So this is my condition. This is my question. Let's see how we can do this. So if you know basic of conditional formatting, you must be knowing this option of highlighting a cell that contains text that contains Delhi or anything. So over here, we could think that can we use this text that contains Delhi and we can put Orissa. The answer is no, because the condition which we need to highlight is not dependent in the same range. I need to highlight this range, but my condition is dependent on other cell. So in this case, you cannot use this option of highlighting this text that contain. It can be only used where you select the data which you want to highlight and the condition is also dependent on the same, same selection. Over here, it's dependent on different cells. So for that, we cannot use that option. We'll have to use an option of new rule where we have to create our rule, maybe by logical maybe by cell reference, anything, it could be anything. So over here, I would be showing you how we can do it through a logical function, using logical function with conditional formatting. So that's the use or uh, we can say it is, it comes in a bit advanced conditional formatting. So let's see how we can use it. So the first step would be, uh, I will have to select the range in conditional formatting. The first step is to select the range of your data or the cell which you need to highlight. So over here, as I said, I need to highlight the salesman name. So what I'll do, I'll select the sales the range of salesman name. Then I'll go to home tab in conditional. Over here, I can go to new rule. I'll have to go to new rule or I can also go to manage tool liner, but I'll go to new rule directly. Over here, I'll have to select this option. Use formula to determine which cells to format. So and over here, I will use a logical function known as or because what I need to do is I need to highlight the name of the salesman which uh, who represents Delhi or uh, Orissa. There are two conditions. That is the reason I'm, if I had only if I had only one condition that is only Delhi, then I didn't uh, then there was no use of using or. I can only use a reference that if this cell is equal to Delhi, highlight my selection. But over here, I have two conditions. That is the reason I am using the logical function known as OR. So this would go as equal to OR bracket open this cell, the first cell. I'll have to remove the dollar sign, which I, this should not be fixed, equals to Delhi. Now, the case doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it should be in capital or it should be in a way you have it in your main data. The case doesn't matter. The first condition is this and the second condition is if this cell, again I'll remove the fix dollar sign equals double inverted commas Orissa. Bracket, uh, double inverted commas closed and bracket closed. Now select any formatting that you want. So I'll just select a fill of any color and then click OK. Let's check is are we getting correct answer or not? Yes, you could see that Delhi is been highlighted and over your Orissa is highlighted. Now I'm, I want to tell you that this is in a dynamic way. If your data changes, if at all there's a mistake in your data, if this uh, the salesman Sajid is by mistakenly been entered as Delhi. So if you change it, if I put any other name or any other state, you could see that the, it has disappeared. So this is this gives you an accurate 
uh, solution or accurate report and it is the best thing it is dynamic so anything that you make changes that would change accordingly so that's one of the example of advanced conditional formatting moving on this continuing with this topic for example i have if you see i have selected one if the i have highlighted one cell right now if the condition is for better understanding i want that if the state the question remains the same if this i i need to highlight the data where the state is delhi and orissa right so what i want if highlight the whole row okay the whole row if the state is delhi or orissa over here what i did i just highlighted one cell or one column i selected but over here what i want if it is delhi or delhi or uh, orissa it should highlight the whole row the formula will remain same there are only two three changes that we need to do let's see how we can do it so i have a different sheet a new sheet so what i did the first step would be i over here in the previous example what i did i selected only the column but the rule is the thing which you need to highlight should be selected so over here i need to highlight the whole row that is the reason i'll select the whole data okay next step would be going to new rule and applying the formula so the formula would be same equal to or this cell this cell equals to delhi comma uh, this cell equals to orissa spelling needs to be correct which is been there in the original data otherwise you could get a wrong data and then i'll select the color and let's see if we get an answer or not no we are not it is not highlighting the whole data it is just highlighting it the answer is correct but what my purpose was to highlight the whole row but it is not giving me the reason is we need to do something we need to apply the concept of row absolute over here so if you have seen if you have seen the videos of the cell reference which i have recorded you get, you could get an idea how row absolute works so one change which i need what we need to do is we again need to select the data or what we can do is if we need to edit this we can select anywhere in the data and we can go to manage double click on this so what i need to do as i said we need to apply the concept of row absolute row absolute is done in a way where we put the dollar sign before the alphabet we just need to put the dollar sign before the alphabet over here wherever the cell reference is given so a2 is a cell reference this is also so wherever the cell reference is in your formula when you are putting the formula in conditional formatting if you want to highlight the whole row just put a row absolute that is dollar sign before your alphabet you can do this by shift and then four but the best way is going to that and just press f4 three tries so when when one once you press f4 tries this will give you the dollar sign before it and then you can click okay and apply now you could see the whole row is being highlighted so if i change this to any other state this would automatically update and give you the result so this is how conditional formatting works i hope uh, i have explained you in a way in a simple way where you can explain each and every term of conditional formatting so i'll end this video over here thank you